What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's It's Fangler, and today we are starting a very interesting franchise. We will be. R r what is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's It's Fangler, and today we will be doing a very interesting um, franchise. We will be completely re. Um, what was it? Take 13. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's It's Fangler, and today I think I'm starting the best franchise mode on YouTube. This is a franchise where we're going to be re relocating. But it's not just your ordinary relocation franchise. We will be cutting every single player on this roster, every coach, and completely rebranding the Oakland Raiders. The settings for this franchise, um, I will be starting in the preseason. Um, I'm an owner, and my name is Porkchop McGraw. It's mostly from my former player. That's why he's a former player. Um, in like Madden 17, those Maddens. And most people, I believe a lot of people did this, but you make like a 5'5 five five player who's like 400 pounds. That's where I got the inspiration from to make that guy. Um, these are my settings, so if you want to pause the video and look at them quick, um, these are my settings. Um, I picked the hardest difficulties mostly because the rest are kind of easy. There will be a trade deadline because I think it makes it a little bit harder. Sally cap's obviously on. Everyone can relocate so I can re relocate. And pre existing injury is off because I know Marshawn Lynch and those type of players who are already injured, you can't cut. So we just have to turn that off so we can still cut them. Um, quarter length is six minutes. And I left all this manual. All this got turned off because it's kind of annoying. And yeah, that's the franchise. Uh, before I start cutting everyone, I just want to show you who's on this roster. And this uh, does not have much talent. Let me get into removing these players. You can see I cut every single player from this Raiders roster. And before I start signing new players in free agency, I'm going to go into the My Owner tab. And first off, stadium. For a relocation franchise, you no matter what want to relocate, the terrible stadium, small stadium, they even share it with like a baseball field, so it's an awful stadium. And what we're gonna do is relocate the stadium, confirm it, and um, we will be getting in a couple of weeks, usually it's around like week three, week four, is when they start giving you like time to pick your new city what do you want your city to be stadium and all that so we relocated we're already in the process um next i want to be working with our finances and since i picked a former player we don't start off with an extra 10 million dollars and financing is very important in this game because y there's financial probation which pretty much means if you don't uh if you don't meet that quota the, fr the franchise is over. You can't get back to it. It's just completely over. So we have to set some good prices on these tickets. So 550 for sweet tickets. Um, that's a. These are a bit too much. 575 seems a bit high. 550 seems a bit lower. They like our upper level tickets. The club tickets aren't that bad. And they haven't in. in our amazing tickets aren't that bad. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to go $25 more. See if I can make a bit more money off it. We have a lot of amazing tickets. So, these three are a bit too much. These three are a bit little. So, it's between these. Let's go right in the middle. Um, too too little, too much, right in the middle again. And club tickets, I think we're gonna do the same thing. Wow, there's a lot my price for this one. One, two, three, that's too little. One, two, three, that's too... Actually, we'll go five with this. So there. Oh my god, actually. What was our original? 180. And they, they like them. 
we'll go a bit more there we did a bit more there and yeah everywhere else seems fine with the pricing so let's get into signing some free agents um for the quarterback situation um i believe i'm going to be going with paxton lynch and chad kelly most because paxton lynch in college he was a first round draft pick he was a good player so i still believe in him he has a good arm like he could st play for us pretty well and chad kelly he was a good player but just had some issues off the field which led to him being cut but he's also a good player uh for the halfbacks demarco murray if you didn't know i'm a cowboys fan so i have a love hate relationship with demarco murray but we'll give him another shot he'll be playing for the raiders or soon to be non oakland raiders or not a raider at all um Next, it was either between C.J. Anderson and Trakandrick West, but Trakandrick's speed is kind of what led to me picking him. And Orleans Darkwa. I looked at the fullback position. There's no one really good, and Trey Edmonds is the fastest guy, and he can't block that well or run truck people. And I usually need that on fake punts. So, I'm going to go with Orleans Darkwa as my fullback. I'm just going to be switching him. Okay, so this is the Fittish roster. Um, there wasn't really anything else important besides quarterback, halfback, and wide receiver. But I'm just going to quickly s scan through all my positions. Those are my quarterbacks. Those are my running backs. That's my fullbacks, the Orleans Darkwa. Um, wide receivers tight ends um and i only got one offensive lineman per position and you may see like a jack mew hort and um richie incognito and think like those guys are good why were they in free agency honestly i do not know um that's my left end that's my right end um originally i had cliff averill there but i just um moved him to outside linebacker because I needed a uh, guy to fill that out. Um, those are my defensive tackles. There's Cliff Averill and his backup, Lorenzo. Um, those are my middle, outside. Um, these are my corners and that's my free safety. And he, he, was, he looked really good. Like fast guy with some height. So he looked very good and Montrell, who also looked pretty good. And incomplete. Tight coverage that time by Miles Killebrew. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. A beautiful spin and room to run. And now running right. Theo Reddick. And he's going to get into the Zone. So the fake spike works, and they score. Now the Raiders' offense, they get set to head back on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the Lynch looking to throw on second, escaping the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. Okay. Brandon Maybe I should have known Paxton Lynch can't throw. And it's third and short. He's only like a he had 69 no time, but a much... They'll run here. See if he can go again. Ooh. The first down that was a good run. Good run by DeMarco. Got to stop first down. Maybe our run game is just going to be just kind of a strict run game. Nothing really else. They didn't just guess not easily done. He does not come um, down easily. Why is my power halfback? I switched that, so... Oh my. Incomplete on the deep ball. One in five. Paxton Lynch. A little too much oomph. Too much mustard Field there on that from pass. this kicker. Yeah, really turned oh, it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that. I think I missed. Oh. 
That was not good. Yeah, because they couldn't Offense the not looking great. Goal. Defense hasn't even touched the field yet. The 41 first and ten. And they've already they pointed to the board. I see you uh, appreciate the run black. Yep. Good prediction. Um, he's gonna be stopped before he could this even is going to be a pass play. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the yeah, teeth second. of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stop that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Okay, that was a solid run. Oh, my. Shay's hurt. Shay's hurt. It is hurt. Oh, my God. Shay's hurt. I don't know how we're going to do about this. We just lost our outside linebacker. I don't know who's going to play for him. Come on. Oh, my God. Theo Reddit is not even. Being taken down my defensive tackle can't bring a 200 pound running back down. Two times the size. And we see another pitch and catch there Send this the blitz. Back. This position just continues to evolve. Cliff, go on the outside. They blitz. become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot Cliff. of receivers. Cliff. Cliff. Make people miss in the open field. What are really you doing, my man? Twelve yards there. I set him up for you. No, Robert Ayers, a defensive end NFL filling football. in for him. The right side, the offensive line often known oh, as no. the nasty side. The Maybe he was playing defensive end for me. It's a, a this is a run play. Oh, he's blacked him. Let's go! Let's go, Tay. Good play. Sack him for 11 yards. That was a good play. Good job, Tank. He just took out oh, Vontae's hurt, though. So on fourth down, the Lions That's turn great. We Crater lost Vontae. The, the wind is at his back here in the second quarter. Let's see. And, and beautiful is kick. The money. It's good. Ten to nothing. Start in practically the beginning of the second quarter. We lost Ro Lorenzo Malden. So already with three injuries. That was a terrible punt. That was a really bad punt. Well, Garrett Blunt, this guy's going to run our whole defense over. This is the newest member of the Lion backfield, Garrett Blunt. Good tackle. That was actually a terrible tackle. You completely whiffed, but... Trip them off. And nice job. Like the blitz even on and off. Fourth and goal. Hits you to back. So Turn around, this bro. Understanding situations Turn around. And then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've okay. Made the We're tackle. doing good right now. And down by 13. On the money. Get a good, good drive. Get like three points. The lead up to We're doing good. To no problems in the field goal department. Good job, so Matt. Good job. Two for two. Pretty reliable good here play in this calls. game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. They Actually, need good him suggestions. Late in the game. His confidence that should be sky sense. high. Oh, 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 oh! Chuck Hendrick. Oh, and good play. I thought he was gone. The 40 yard line. Now that's the kind oh, of turn Chuck Hendrick. Happy about that. That allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Good now we actually have a chance to strike. A good big play. From the gun. Right Down. in the middle. Right in the middle. He's got his good play. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there. 26. <laughs> Try goal complete. 15 yards. It's a lot of nice. Fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because. Terrell, this is why you were cut. This is why people didn't want you. Tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This a 33 yard attempt. And his oh my god, gone. he almost missed that. And they will indeed get on the board okay. here, still trailing. It's now the 15. Okay, Chuck Hendrick might be our starter. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. I don't even know. Look like the defense put pretty this good team, pressure on him, but I could literally start Chad Kelly as my third and running back. No, 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 I did not just do that. I did not just do that. No, I did not just do that. I did not just do that. Oh my god, I'm the worst Madden player of all time. So, let me just explain a little bit more about what just happened there. The um, quarter, do you know when you're trying to hike the ball kind of fast? Because I didn't want the quarter to die yet. down. If you're a I don't know why it mattered so much, but I just didn't want it to die down. To play this one is over now and, um, spamming X 
Simple. Hikes the ball and immediately passes now there. To add the PAT. I'm sure you guys have done it before. Extra point good by but and the decision to just usually it doesn't end up in a touchdown or even an interception by the other team. Here's Prater now that set time to kick it, it away. Oh my god. Now Oakland ready to take four the touchdowns. Field. And following the pick six, um, and they have decent field position and throwing that pick six. Maybe I should take some chances. Run. And I think all you say to your Deep. guy is listen. Let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make oh, he has him! He has him! Braxton! Let's go! Obviously seen. And you run with it. And you <laughs> this know team does not have much skill. In your own home facility. Um, no one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe quarterback right positions here in this room. kind of weak. And then you go on the road. Running back position. We've seen a lot of Chuck Andrick. Seen a lot out of him. He seems like a solid player. But without an offensive line, without really a um good quarterback, um kind of is difficult for him to make good plays. Um, Braxton Miller seemed like he was solid for the overall he is. He seems like a good player. Um, defensively, or actually a little bit more on the offense. Um, Terrell Pryor literally seems terrible. He will not fight for the ball, which is one weakness out of him. Um, Brandon Coleman, I didn't even see him. Will Ty, didn't see him. Um, Vales, what is this, um, v Hakeem Vales, um, he was a solid player, um, got some good plays on, on defense, um, nothing really showed up that game, tank with a good sack, we had an okay pass rush, but really, just not a good team. Corner secondary would just keep getting injured. Vontae was injured. Um, yeah, it was just not a great team. Not much good. Like, this defense should be okay. You don't have a good defensive backfield, but your defensive front should stop a lot of people. So, um, uh, I'm going to switch Braxton Miller to quarterback. Because, honestly doesn't matter we don't have a quarterback okay Braxton okay Braxton you know a quarterback who could run like that has my interest through it early so his accuracy doesn't seem accuracy doesn't seem bad okay that was a good pass Okay, Braxton. Oh, okay. That was a good throw, honestly. Like, he, he put that. That was a good throw. That's all I'm saying. That's a good throw. From accuracy. Oh, there we go. That's the accuracy you want to see. That was a good throw. Oh. Oh. Does, did Charkin... Did Braxton get his first touchdown? Oh no. I jinxed him. Here. Oh, here it is again. Oh, he doesn't have him. No! The ankle tackles. Okay, well, I think that's gonna conclude this video. Um This was episode one of the series. Um I'm not gonna finish the rest of the preseason games. We kind of seen all we needed to see, and I'm thinking there's either going to be a major trade next episode, or we might be seeing a new quarterback. And the Ohio State trilogy might be coming to the Oakland. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.